How's it? What we're going to do is go take our songs that we uh, created in GarageBand and make them uh, multi videos in uh, Adobe Premiere. Very easy. Uh, just use the uh, default widescreen 48 um, kilohertz and we'll hit OK. And then what's going to happen is this part is where your files are going to be kept. So you're going to go want to uh, grab those files that you use to create it like the uh, I have the singer here, uh, we have the musical typing, we have the, uh, the um, you definitely need the music that you compiled um, for the mp3, not the original mp3 of the real song, but the one that you created in GarageBand. So you're gonna just going to um, highlight those files and just drag those over into this bin over here. And in this bin, uh, you can basically just click and drag those into our timeline. So what we're going to do is take our MP3 and we're going to drag that right into that first layer. Okay, and go ahead and control click on that layer, hit rename and call that MP3 because that's the uh, main MP3 track that we're going to be using, which is the uh, exported GarageBand uh, compilation. Next, uh, what about the singer? Grab the singer and drag the, it's going to be a video file and we're going to drag that into video one. Okay. So this is where she starts singing uh, the song. Now, chances are she probably sings uh, later on. But before we get to that, let me, um, let's resize some things here. So here the file is a little bit too big. So hold down the shift key and then you can scale it uh, from the corners only. Don't like make it, don't get from the side and make it too like warped, um, but only from the sides and then just drag it down a little bit. Um, you can actually go here to fit, so we can fit the screen, and these are very customizable, so you can like um, drag this here, you can drag this up here to make it smaller or bigger. Uh, it's totally customizable. But what we're gonna do is, uh, with this song, um, now we're not gonna use the um, audio from the movie, um, of the singer, okay, because we already used that to compile the original mp3. So we're actually going to hide the icon here. You're just going to click on this to hide that layer. And so when we hit um, spacebar, okay, we have a piano coming first, which is, means we're going to have to find that. And notice she's starting to sing. So if you want to sync that audio, you can actually unhide that and figure out where that is uh, for the audio um, so you can find that and match that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and find that. So I'm gonna actually move, move it out and you have to sync it exactly where it is uh, she's singing. Now if, it, if you started the song exactly where she started singing, um, you can actually hit Razor Tool or the C on the keyboard and let's say we don't need that first part okay so we can actually razor tool okay that part and by the way um, if your view is more towards this way um, go ahead and scroll that up so it's a little bit easier to uh, see and read and it basically zooms up your timeline so hit V as in Victor and now we can click on this video part because we don't really need this video part and we're gonna delete that um, again, that's if, if she's not doing anything yet. Notice so she starts singing right in here. So before she didn't really sing, it was just piano. So we didn't really need that first part unless they're just doing a little intro dance for you and you may want to use it. Now notice she used the piano. So let's go ahead and get our piano um, that we use. So here's our piano. I'm going to click and drag that into the next layer, video two. Make sure you're all the way um, to the left of the timeline. Okay. And here's the piano, how it starts. So notice it doesn't start till there. And again, it's kind of big. So we're going to want to scale that back. Um, so go ahead and hit on the edge. And we're going to make that full screen because that's all I can hear at the beginning. You want to include the instruments that you can hear. Um, so if it was like a piano and a saxophone at the beginning, you'd want those two instruments shown. But in this case, I can only hear a piano. Like she's not even singing at first. So I'm gonna make that full screen to my heart's desire. And she doesn't even start playing the piano till here. 
So I'm going to hit C for razor tool. I'm going to razor that, hit V as in Victor, and then click on that and delete that, and then V and then move that over. So now if we match it, see how now it matches really well uh, with the sound? So I don't need um, the original audio from the video of the piano playing. So again, mute that. Okay, right there, I'm starting to hear her sing, okay? So right in here, we're singing. So we want to then change it to a split screen. So to do that, okay, position it where you want to split it, C for crop, and then go ahead and crop that, and then V as in Victor to select it, and now we're going to resize it from the edge, okay? And then there's the other file, and then we're just gonna move it. I'm gonna put this on the bottom, um, put the singer in a prominent place, maybe at the top left, top right, or wherever you think is would be best. So in this case, it's two. I'm going to make her kind of big um, screen to fill it, uh, kind of like so. Okay. Um, and again, you can position things uh, the way you want to, um, according to what you feel is best. Um, so I'm going to show the mic too. I think that's important. Um, try not to use too much black space, um, but here, so now you want to match up the singing, so now she's singing, oh, and then right there I heard the violin, so when I, when I hear the violin, we want to bring in the violin right here, so, uh, let's see, violin is right there, I'm going to drag in the violin right there, and then we got the violin, so I'm going to match that up. Okay, and again, we don't need the audio. Once we match it up, you don't need the audio. And again, I'm going to scale this down um, so it's not so big. And then you're going to place that somewhere on the timeline as well. So I'm going to place that right here. Okay. So then you're going to play that. And then maybe you hear the fourth instrument. Um, in this case, uh, it was uh, this file. So I'm going to drag this on top, and maybe it comes in right here. And this was my um, on my iPad. And I'm going to uh, resize that. And again, if you, if you can't really see it very well, you can just shrink this down, move it to the side, hold on Shift and then screen. Now if you notice this video is uh, created vertically so all you need to do is go on the edge of it and then you can hold on shift and then rotate that over and now you can see the drums. So I'm um, going to go back to a hundred percent and now for you have to place this somewhere. So to place this I need to decide where that's going to go. Um, maybe I'm going to put it right in here. Okay, and then maybe when that happens, I need to have my singer be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hit this uh, C for crop and crop that frame right about there, and then V is in Victor. And now I'm going to take um, her. I'm going to resize that down so she'll fit more into that um, empty window right there. So again, make sure you select the layer when you move her. Um, Okay, so there it is. I'm going to resize it. And there it is. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And maybe something like that. Okay, but again, you want to try to show the, um, the mic. That's why it's really important to film this in a good way. Uh, for that. Now, if there's an instrument that only comes out for the verse, you may want to um, make that disappear so the violin only comes out for a certain part. You know, you want to go to the violin, uh, crop off um, where the violin stops. So maybe it's right here, and then um, you would just delete it later. So, right here, you know, the violin appears when it's used, but when it's not used, you know, you just delete it. And then you can resize or just leave the space and you can make things uh, bigger, smaller, and whatnot. 
So, um, when you're all finished uh, with your um, editing, all you do need to do is go to File, and we're going to um, export it. So, we're going to File, Export uh, Media, and we're going to export the media as H.264 and uh, for our movie file and uh, keep the same dimension. Uh, make sure that um, this is the time that it's going to um, export. So make sure that's the entire time of your work area. And then uh, make sure it's H.264. And in your video settings, this is the frame and the width. So that looks good. And 24 frames. Um, we'll move that to 30 frames uh, per second and then I'm just gonna hit export and uh, make sure you hit output name um, and export it where you want it so preferably like your drive your Google Drive or whatnot um, so then we hit export and then uh, you are all finished and now you are a producer